Hello everybody, this is Mr. Sovar, or also known as Parker. Um, we are going to continue on with the redstone tutorial. This will be number three, so let's go over a few things. First of all, as you can see right here, this is a NAN gate. As you know from the previous tutorial, there's an AND gate. With the NAN gate, it's basically the opposite output. For example, the AND gate was two positives will have a positive output or an on output. In this case, you need two off output or I'm sorry, two off inputs to have one output. And this is a basic concept of an AND gate. So if I have one, wait. Something doesn't seem right here. Um, yeah, that seems right. Wow, I really confused myself. I'm sorry. I'm here teaching the tutorials. Um, so, as you can see, there are two positives to make a negative. The output is the opposite. So, in a way, you needed two positives over here to have a positive output. You need two positives here for a negative output. And if you have one on, one off, it'll be out, a positive out. And if you have both negative, it'll still be a positive out. It'll only take both of these to make them negative. So it's like two ons equal an off which is actually kind of cool when you think about it. Sorry about that, I must have like a brain fart or something. But this is just another demonstration of how you combine logical gates. As you might have heard in the previous tutorial, I was going to talk about combining gates. So the AND gate in this case is basically an inverted NON gate. So if I have a NAND gate and a NOT gate, it would equal an AND gate, as you can see right here. So this would be an AND gate, actually, which is pretty neat. And even more complex stuff, which is a four input AND gate, just by combining three of them. So as you can see, I could turn this one on, I could turn that one on, I could turn that one on, but yet it's not on until all of them are positive. An AND gate means this and that needs to be on, basically all the inputs have to be on. And this one, this one is a really interesting one. It's a XOR gate. XOR gate basically means that you must have a positive and a negative, an on or an off, in order to have the output as on. It doesn't matter which one's on or which one's off as long as one is on and one is off and not both of them are off or both of them are on. I will show you. As you can see, it turns on, but if I have both on, that turns off. But if I have this one off and that one on, that will be on. And I might as well talk about the construction of this, since I haven't really gone over too much. As you can see, there are three blocks in a row and one additional block in front. You have a torch on top, on the edge cubes, if you may call them, edge stones or whatever. And then you have a torch here, a torch here, and a torch here. Now, make sure that you put the redstone right in front of this torch and right beside that torch. And then make sure you have enough room so that it goes to this block. And that you... It's basically two inverters and this thing. It's not really a gate. I guess it would be a NOR... XNOR gate if we took off the inverters, but... As you can see by the construction, that's how the XOR gate works. Um, nothing too much with the AND gates or anything like that. You probably should know about the construction from the previous tutorials. But again, this is basically how an XOR gate works. Pretty neat, isn't it? So, thank you for watching for my third Redstone tutorial. And make sure to watch the previous ones if you haven't seen them. And... I believe the next video will be getting into some really, really advanced stuff. 
Thanks for watching. See you later.